I'm uh, I'm I'm channel surfing yesterday and hear about this guy Warren Sapp. Yeah. yeah. All right. Oh, Right, he's a football so, famous football. Was he on Dance with the Stars? Yes, he was. Mm-hmm. Right, he was. A, he played uh, for Tampa for a long time, and now he's like on one of the NFL, NFL networks. Network, but they they fired him. Yeah. So when we were out cruising the parties and doing all that stuff on Saturday night, uh, our limo driver told us our, our, our drive. We didn't have a limo. We just had that a was car. not a limo. That was <laughs> no. a very small car that we were in, and I was shoved in the back seat. Let's call, let's call it a limo. It was the opposite of a limo. Yeah. But the limo driver who drives limos sometimes, I guess, was just driving our car. Was telling us that they brought. Brought in, and I know who they are. They brought in to the Super Bowl city, as they do every year, an additional 2,000 prostitutes for anybody who's looking. I Which, imagine it would be a big night. Yeah, you, or wouldn't weekend, you think? Rather. I, I wonder if we could get into like the people who made the most money on Super Bowl weekend, because everybody I talked to is like, well, we made $3,000 just tending bar. Or well, we made- not the prostitutes Warren Sapp picked up, right? Because he didn't pay them, right? <laughs> no. They got into a big fight. Yeah, and then he, he's busted, allegedly, we should say, for soliciting prostitution. I don't think it was allegedly. I think he was really busted. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. There's like Has audio he been of convicted? It. <laughs> no, but it's not allegedly. All the headlines yesterday were allegedly, so I thought we had to say that. But if he got busted, he got busted. If you don't say allegedly, what happens? I don't know. I mean, are you a quote unquote professional broadcaster? <laughs> are you delivering news? You Everybody news? I've heard use the term allegedly uses it in this case. Okay. Anyway, so he gets suspended, right? Well, he got, he got fired. fired. Oh, he got fired. Yeah. It's funny because without knowing the story, I would think his boss would be like, okay, what's the story? Before we fire you, what's the story here? What happened? If he just said, look, I was framed, I was doing whatever. I don't know. No. Because if you're his boss, you're like, if you did it or didn't do it, either way, you put yourself into a shady situation and you make yourself and us look bad. A lot Does of companies don't want to be associated for with <laughs> prostitutes. Is that it's bad? interesting because yes. Letter <laughs> David Letterman admits that he was sleeping with interns at his secret office. That was an upstairs. intern, not a prostitute. It is different. <laughs> but I mean, it's like that kind of ruins he wasn't the, okay. the interns. <laughs> Eddie Murphy gets arrested for picking up a, a transsexual prostitute and then signs on to do Shrek. <laughs> That's right. Apparently, DreamWorks is a little different than the NFL Network. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't it Hugh Grant that picked up a, uh, a prostitute? And then he just says, and oops, on The Tonight Show, and everybody thinks he's adorable. But what else has Hugh Grant done since then? Love Actually. Really? Was yeah. that afterwards? Yeah. Yeah, that was in 2001 when that came out, but he got busted with a prostitute in 93. <laughs> oh. yeah. well, he's still lovable. He's statute of limitations. He's still a Julia Roberts I'm movie. like Rain Man of celebrities that picked up prostitutes. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> well, that's fascinating. 